Welcome back. Is your makeup and skincare regimen ready to beat the heat? Well, whether it's adding a hint of highlights to your cheekbones or making sure your skin's hydrated to boost your glow, there are a few steps that you can add to your regimen to get that desired look. Joining me now, celebrity makeup artist Jamie Greenberg and her model, Anna, who already has that seasonal glow, and they have tips to help you take your makeup to the next level. Hi. Hi, Audrey. Yeah, during the summer, the makeup just seems to slide right off your face. <laughs> Help. <laughs> so true. It's so true. I think that this summer, everybody wants to get that nude, bronzy, dewy look. Um, and again, it's so hot. We're dealing with humidity and, and just heat overall and hot suns. And so I think we need to bring it back to the basics, and that's bringing it back to the skin. Um, it's important that we take care of our skin because your makeup will look better and last longer in these conditions. Um, so I love to talk about exfoliating. It takes off any dead skin and it kind of makes a perfect canvas for makeup and it brightens your skin to exfoliate as well. And then masks have become my new obsession. I use them on all my celebrity clients and I use them on myself. Anyone who will talk to me, I'll give a mask to. Um, I love masks because you can find any mask for any problem, there's a solution. Um, if you need a mattifying mask or you need um, a skin plumping mask or if you're swollen and you need to take it down, there's masks for that, there's eye masks. Um, so I love the wide selection of masks that you can also find at Marshalls um, at great prices so you can really stock up on a lot of them. I love a good mask and when it comes to exfoliating, is there a right and a wrong way to do that? Yeah, so you, a lot of people think that exfoliating should almost hurt to some degree. Um, by scrubbing really hard, that's gonna make everything better. And that's simply not the case. You just wanna find um, an exfoliator and you want, just like you would uh, kind of turn liquid soap or a bar of soap into a suds, that's the same exact uh, motion, circular motion you wanna work on your face with. Now. I've even seen exfoliators that are, um, again, masks that you just leave on your skin and you don't even do anything. They have certain kinds of enzymes that do all the work for you. So again, it's not about getting rough with exfoliating. Um, it's just about doing it one to three times a week. I mean, one to, what, yeah, one to three times a week, depending on how sensitive your skin is. And just remember, you don't, just to be gentle to your skin and you will see the effects still. And of course you don't want to rub your skin off. That's right, yeah, you need, you need your face. <laughs> so let's talk about some of the celebrity makeup trends that we see. Contouring is really big. What's the secret to getting that look? So the secret is, first of all, don't feel intimidated by this trend. I think a lot of people kind of freeze up and they're like, oh no, no, it's not for me. It's actually one of the first um, trends that ever was in makeup, started in theater makeup and just, has carried on through decades. Um, so it's just become, it's been, it's been rebranded, I like to say, Audrey, but it's really not scary. And what you need is a good palette that has bronzer and highlighter. And that's really the umbrella term is contouring and that falls under that is the bronzer. And anything bronzy is going to make things look a little bit more chiseled and smaller. And anything that has a highlight is going to make things pop out. So when you take your bronzer, you're going to put it in the hollows of your cheeks. Maybe you'll sculpt your chin a little bit or your neck or maybe your forehead. You want to take it down a little bit. And bronzer also looks good as a sun-kissed glow. And then the highlighter, we're going to make things pop out. So you want your cheekbone to pop out a little bit, maybe underneath your brow bone, down the slope of your nose, or on the bow of your lip. And that's really as simple as it is. But you also, it's great to get a great brush. So I love this fan brush for that. This tool is important and it makes a beginner have a really easy time contouring. And guys, don't overdo it. It's summer. Let your face breathe. Don't over exfoliate. And if you're going to contour, you don't have to see it. If you're going to bake, you don't have to look like a cake. <laughs> Thank you both for joining me. Thank you so much, Audrey. You're great. Thank you. And that's it for this week's show. I'm Audrey Adams. Join me here next week for more insightful, intelligent, and inspiring conversations and information on Talk with Audrey. I'll see you next week.